Code signal, arcade, box blur. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be doing box blur, the code signal question. Now let's get to it. Let's get to it. Last night you partied a little too hard and you have a black and white photo of you about to go viral. So you would apply the box blur algorithm. Um, the pixels in the input image are integers and every pixel X in the output of integer is equal to the average of a three by three square where the center is X and including X itself. So all the pixels in the border of X are then removed and you want to return the blurred image as an integer and with the fractions rounded down. So here's an example. You have 111, So the output should be one because um, you, can't, you, have, you have to start with the center because um, remember all the pixels in the border of X are removed. And so this just leaves us with this one little space right here. And that space will have an average of 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 7 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by 9, which is 1.666. And since it rounds down, it's just 1. Okay. And you can see another example here. It, since instead of being a 4 by 4, it turns to a 2 by 2. I think you always understand the idea. Um, for every square in the center, the 3 by 3 radius around it, including the square itself, we want the sum divided by the number of squares, which is 9, which will be the average. So I think it's pretty straightforward, actually. So if we were to try to solve this step by step, I guess first iterate through each square that's not in the border. Second, get average of 3 by 3 area, including square that you're on as the center. And then you just return that image. So why would you need this? I don't know. You were partying or protesting. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I don't go that direction. <laughs> You're protesting and you don't want to get caught by any interviewers showing that you've been in the late news and Fox or CNN. No, just kidding. All right, let's get to it. So first, int, you want the number rows, which is going to be equal to image.length, which is the number of rows and image.length, columns, which is equal to the image.length. We, we want only the length of one of those rows, which is the columns. And if we were to construct a new image, oh, by the way, if I were to go through this one, I would say it would be a, uh, hmm, so it's going to be rows by columns um, times nine time complexity because we had to do it by 3 by 3 square and the space would be about um, it would be almost the same size as the image minus so be rows minus 1 times columns minus 1 space complexity because um, the image would return, we lose the borders all right anyways uh, let's get to it call this blur goes new int rows minus 2 because we remove the borders from the left and the right, I mean up and down, and the columns, which is when we remove the borders from the left and the right. Okay. So int r equals zero. Oh, I forgot. We had to start from the center pixel because we can't do any borders. So row plus one, rows less than uh, rows minus one. Oh boy. Yeah, that makes sense because you don't want to go and at the very border, and this one would be columns, and C is less than columns, minus one, C plus plus, okay, and the blur part, blur of the row and the column is gonna equal, hmm, get average, we're gonna create a helper method so that we don't have to crowd all the information right here. But what we'll pass to the helper method is we need the image for reference and we need the row and the column. Let's see about this one. What else can we do? I say, uh, oh yeah, and we have to return the blurred image when we're finished. Now, public int get average and we we'll return, we need that original image and we're going to need that row and we're going to need that column. And to get the average, we need to do the 3 by 3 square. So it's going to look like this. And it's going to look a little messy. But we'll get through it together, guys. 
image. Go minus. Oh yeah, I think you guys might be wondering what would be exactly those indexes. So let's think about it for a second. Um, up, down, left, right, and we also need up left, up up right, and we also need down left, down right. Do we have all pixels? Oh, and we need the middle square. So be up 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 left, up up middle, up right, um, middle left, middle middle, middle right, down left, down middle, down right. And I think we have all nine squares. So if we think about it, oh, a little messy here. It's going to be, this one's going to be, if we use a center pixel as the reference point, this would be negative one, negative one. This would be, oh, shoot, I removed this one. This is a little confusing for y'all. It's negative one, negative one, uh, negative one, zero, uh, negative one, plus one. Now this one's at the center, so we just do zero, one. It's a little confusing, but once you get the handle of it, kind of get what's going on. <sighs> All right, image. All right. So now we have this in mind. Now you know what I'll be returning. So it's gonna be image. Oh, this word is so long. I'm gonna just make it smaller. Oh, there we go. So we use this as reference. Minus one plus image. R minus one, R, oh shoot, not R, it's R, C, R, C. There you go. That's how you index certain values. Oh, and then since we're going to average, we divide it by nine. I think it automatically rounds down when you just divide like this. It's a repetitive process, but we can get through it, guys. Hang in there. Hang in there, Joshua. Do this for the, the viewers, the subscribers. <laughs> Things I do for you guys. All right. Now, let's pray this works, because if it doesn't, I'm going to lose my... All right. Let's see. Oh, boy. What did I do wrong? Oh, I see, I see. So, um, since we're using a smaller image um, that loses its border, we have to actually um, modify the index points of what's a row in column because it's not going to apply to what we're using for this image. It's actually going to be quite different. Um, the placement's going to be different because it's going to start in a different index because we don't have the border. I probably should have ran through my code through, like walk, it through, walk you guys through it. Oh, it worked. Nice. I'm glad it worked. All right. So it's kind of straightforward. Um, you would return an image that's blurred, and that's basically um, you iterate through each square, which we're doing with this nested for loop, look down upon. And you want to get the average of a 3x3 three three area that includes the square that you're on. So we're doing this here that includes the square we're on. Um, and you can see all the different directions and how we're grabbing it, including the center square itself. And um, since that, you know, the blurred image, you don't want to use the borders. This is why we have to re-index that location where we actually want to put the value for blur. And once we're done, we return the blur itself. All right, let's hope this works when I click submit. That's good. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and if you do, I will give you a mobile app that in live time, and I take it back, in real life, you can blur yourself so no one can recognize you if you do some mischievous things or good deeds too, but you know, you won't go famous for, just kidding guys. Have a good day. Cheers.